Hi everyone, uh, this is our first recording since the new updates come through. It's been a big update for uh, Space Engineers, as you can probably tell from the visuals. They're a little bit different, uh, big visual update, audio update, and I think a lot of uh, improvements under the hood with physics and things like that. Uh, everything seems a lot smoother from what I've been able to see in a couple of minutes. I've been uh, wandering around. Darth's just about to join us, I think. Uh, he's actually read the update information. He should be able to give us a little bit more of a, an idea of the, the big changes. Had to switch off the Space Just Got Real mod, unfortunately. It was uh, making it uh, look kind of very strange. Um, the contrast was way too high and a few other things. It, uh, it does look a little bit strange still. I may have to tweak it a little bit. But uh, it looks great, really. I'm just happy that uh, they're giving space to use some love. Really. Unfortunately, uh, the Bob is uh, the build and repair system nanites are behaving a little bit strangely with the uh, half-built grid up there. So I've actually made a blueprint and uh, printed up a, um, a welding chip. Just going to load some ice into. Not that I actually need to. Just want to check that the oxygen generator is working properly. I've connected everything up correctly. So dawn is coming, I assume that's why we're getting the little hints of uh, light there at the tops. Very nice, we should see a full dawn in a little bit while. And there he is. Ooh. Oh, I can even hear you. I'm waiting for stuff to load in. Fair enough. I'll meet you out it's, the front. It's uh, a lot shinier. It is. Uh, the contrast seems to be higher and uh, yeah, definitely shine. I switched off the space just got real. Just because it, it made a Yeah, I had to uh, adjust my, uh, basically everything. Yeah, I'm probably going uh, to go back. I turned my graphics up. Oh, excellent. And um, I'm running at 19, I think it's 1920 by 1080. Lovely. The amount of detail that I see is insane compared to what I was seeing before. I can imagine. 
is it smooth? I I have no lag. I don't know. I I don't have the um. I don't want to have the thing up the uh, to to ruin my beautiful view of the game. I'm I have everything tabbed out. Like screenshot ready, it almost looks like. This is the little welder I um, had as a blueprint. Oh, this is that one you were telling me about? Yeah, it kind of took a moment to build. Wow, I'm actually getting 30 FPS. Before when I'm when I was playing with you on the little monitor before the update I was getting maybe 12 15 And my CPU load is at 60% Thank you Keen Thank you so much for this update Thank you Although my uh, my GPU is just like clocked at 99% Oh well it's supposed to be <laughs> Mine's never done that, even when I was playing Ark on Ultra. But it's got that um, passive overclock, so I, it's uh, it's going back and forth from 98 to 99 now. So I think it's trying to take care of it. It's so shiny. Oh, so shiny. I just uh, made sure I changed over the ownership of all the blocks in this thing to me and to, I guess, to the whole base. Um, switched it over to me what I could. Doesn't seem to be making any difference to this, though. If you want, you can do that whole uh, setting thing and the um, the main settings for the game before you load in. Make a uh, change ownership kind of thing, I think. Could yeah. you do that without destroying everything? Isn't there, doesn't that just change it to nobody? I know I can do that. Oh, can change yeah, it does. To nobody and then we can come and take ownership again. But, uh, I, you know. We'd have to make sure everything is off. All the stuff from all the bases. Looks like I might be stuck doing the old fashioned way for the rest of this one anyway. Doesn't seem to want to touch it. I think I love the new update. It is, it is awesome. I'm definitely lucky. I'm just so glad that it's getting some love. You know? I thought it was they'd forgotten about space engineers and moved on to new projects. It's fantastic that they're actually you know, you know, going to keep their promise and uh, try and finish the game. Well, I think they were um, that they that they did was working on medieval engineers. And there's been a lot of work been going into that too for server stuff. They've been trying to get multiplayer flushed out for that pretty good. Yeah, I can't complain. You know, they're keeping their promise now. So. Oh, the Vulcan's out of ammo. Oh, I built and tested a cannon to make sure they were working, and they do seem to still be working with range, as far as I can tell. Oh yeah, that's that's something too, since I turned my graphics up finally. 
cool. I can actually see the mountain now. Excellent. Just for giggles, I'm going to try maxing out the graphics and see what that does to my PC. stabilized it's it's basically like I was playing on that monitor the CPU load actually dropped when I maxed out the graphics that's pretty good Yeah, my uh, my CPU load is down to forty to fifty percent, but uh, my FPS is basically cut in half. It went from thirty to forty to uh, fifteen to twenty. But oh, it's that's pretty so pretty. Um, you know on the spotlight how it has the grill? It actually has shadows for the little bits of grill now on the light. Yeah, I see that on the ground. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that worked. I turned anti-aliasing off and uh, everything jumped up to 30 FPS. But my CPU load spiked up to 60% again. Which is weird. Shouldn't that increase my CPU load? Um, no, anti-aliasing is like uh, to make circles look like circles and get rid of jags. So if you get rid of it, it uh, does light the load. You know what I just noticed? No, what's that? On the back of the spotlights are plugs for power cords. We may see power cords in the future. You think? Which would be awesome. Yeah, you could be right. I don't know. Somebody needs to make it a mod.
You know, I thought it would be almost impossible to play with this amount of graphics. This is, this is awesome. Well, everything seems to be running really smoothly. We should head over to the Volvo and uh, carry out our little raid. Uh, since the sun's coming up. Do you want... Do you want to try and finish the vulture really quick before we uh, we do that, and we can use the cannons to try and take out the turrets? Um, if you want to try and finish it really quick, that's. I, I just don't think we really have time. We'll have to wait for that. You know, we can do that with uh, uh, another time. Okay, no problem. It's, I just worry about uh, running out of daylight like we did last time. Yes. Just quickly finish this. If you want to work on it now and get something going, you know, that we could use now, we'll certainly do it. He says this after I cleared out the items from my uh, my toolbar. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I mean, I wasn't, you know, obviously, I'm, I'll probably be finished this any you know, in a moment, but I can help you with it. You know, we can spend you know, 15, 20 minutes on it if you want. But if we have to spend more than that on it, we should probably just go. You're fine, buddy. So far, so good. It's upside down. We could even try streaming again tomorrow, I think. You know, now that the... Uh, oh, the man, the sparks from the grinder. Yeah, that would... Oh my god, the detail from the welders and stuff is amazing. Something shooting. That's me. I'm just testing out the uh, some of the stuff. You can see better muzzle flashes, and there's actual dirt like gets kicked up where the. Uh, Bullets hit. It's so awesome, dude. Oh, you can see the bullets ricochet and everything. Oh, that's awesome. I'm beyond happy right now. Yeah, it sounds like it. A yeah, good early uh, birthday present. Though we won't actually say what day your birthday's on. So. 
privacy concerns. Please don't. No. Please, please don't remind me. I don't mind everybody knowing when my birthday is. I would recommend it. There's some really horrible people out there. This is true. Yeah, the detail on the uh, the blocks and stuff has changed as well. Definitely more uh, like deeper scoring and stuff on the parts where there are lines. Looks like primarily what I need is motors and uh, maybe some construction thingies to finish off. Hello, tree. Goodbye, tree. Weird. I think the range is stuck at 800 for these. That's a bit of a pain. So the ones we thought might be 1200 uh, aren't 1200. I don't know. We'll um, we'll have to test with the target. Yeah. Maybe that um one that killed you that one time with the cargo bomb. Oh yeah, supply depot. Yeah, there is one of those we need to deal with. For now, I'm going to load up with uh, some ammo.
Alright, I've loaded up with a few other bits and pieces. I'll do one more pass on the engines here. I don't think it'll finish it, but we'll, we'll uh, have a look at um, the... What are we calling it again? The buzzard? Vulture. The vulture. Fair enough. I need a battery on this. When I'm running the welder as well as uh, everything else, it goes past 100%. We're out of steel yeah. plates, so I'm gonna load up a bunch. Oh, I might I actually I've got a bunch of board here, <laughs> which is why I'm always falling out of the sky. I found some, never mind. steel tubes. Oh, that's a lot better. So do we want any other types of weapons on this later on, do you think? For now, it's just got the cannon. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. It's probably fine at the moment. I mean, we don't want to overload it. What was that, buddy? We don't want to overload it. Well, it's going to get reworked later on. It's going to be um, retrofitted. as I can do for now without loading up again, so I'll just leave this. Yeah, I'm just munching on some chips. Shit. 
shipped in queso. I might switch the base lights off now. Okay. I can't tell if it's working or not. They're off. Cool. Oh, we're up to 78 days on the uh, 79 days, 89 days. Yeah, a long time on our uh, power supply for the station. We should go check up in space and make sure that uh, cool. it's working out up there. It'll be good. We got solar panels. Wow, the jetpack's a lot stronger. I, I just uh, brushed the wall at uh, not going very fast. I didn't think it managed to do 16 points of damage to myself. Yeah, it, uh, it, it really has been... Basically, the whole game has been reworked. The biggest surprise for me, though, is what they've done for tires and flying around in ships. Have you noticed... The, uh, uh, the vehicles... Notice that the, um, the base is at a slight angle. I don't think we're, we're quite flat to the gravity anymore. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, the ground shifted after we built the base. It's fine. It's an alien planet. So if you want to make the other, the top cockpit, the, uh, the main, I can be the gunner. I'm getting uh, someone else is using the ship. We might just have to swap. You know, I've switched it to yeah, main on. cockpit. It's not letting me. Try now. Try getting in the top one now. Alright, I'm getting autopilot enabled and I can't control. Crap, that I can. All right, we'll just have to um, try it. All right, now I can control it. It just seems to want to have one cockpit that's going to be in one. It doesn't matter who's in it, really. So you All right, I'm in it. the gun. Okay, cool. Looks like it's working.
I have to turn down my graphics. My FPS just dropped the one. Okay, I'm back. So other than the server trying to load in stuff, I guess for me... Yeah, a little bit of lagginess just uh, as we're going along. I'm hoping it'll settle down once we get to the target area. What is your um, tree load in range? Is it set to 100 as well? I think I don't know. I'll tell you another time when I've got you. So I don't see the enemy target. Did we uh, it's about remember to put an antenna on this? I can see it myself. I see the, the RT now. front out, front here outpost, five point whatever k, no closer. I can't see it. Is there an antenna on the uh, the ship? On our ship? something wrong if you can't see it uh, and you've got your signals turned off. No, everything's on. There's no antenna on this ship. It's what I meant. Yeah, I can still see them all. I don't know. So do you want to try and get... Um, 1.2 kilometers out, and we can see if we can hit it with this turret. Yeah, sure. Even a kilometer is fine. Oh, I just noticed that when um, I hit the down thrust, then I went down really quick. So I was just recovering from that. I got to How's it handling for you, the ship, I mean? Oh, other than that, it's been fine. I think I like this better with you flying and me being the gunner. It's a lot less uh, fall of my death-ish. That's good, that's good. Uh, there's a camera on the front of the... Fire one. Like you hit something, but let me get the camera on so that I can see. I don't think I added one. There's one here. Unless it's on the back or something. That's the backup camera. So that's for the, the uh, connector on the rear? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
So the range is 800. But uh, we can still attempt it if you want. So I didn't hit. It fell short, did it? The range is 800. It looks like it's that was one of the tweaks that they did for the rebalance for these. Yeah. But um, if you want to move in, we can try and see if I can take out that uh, gap before it does some damage. Okay. We do have shields. Holder steady right there. I'm not showing I'm hitting that. It shows me hitting the ground underneath it though. Let me try changing targets. Whoa, that was a big explosion. Yeah. I switched views and I, I saw that one. Other gats down, you should be able to move up. We have an interior on this side, next to that ramp. Unless it's a sensor, it looks like it's a sensor. Um, I'm not sure. I just noticed it when I'm in the third person view that I don't see some of the uh, tags that should be on there. Oh no, you probably pulled it up. Pardon me. That's what I was talking about. Uh, there's no antenna on this ship. I think. Yeah, no, I can still see the others. It's just this one because we've blown up the antenna now. So I've got no idea what range I am from. Uh -huh. Um, so we'll have to... Uh, just, just move in. Easy. Yeah, just move in gently. It helps me aim too, if, you, uh, if you're if you not rocking about and stuff like that, moving in gently helps. We're taking fire from the right. Reloading. Shot out. Reloading. Check and see if we took any damage. I didn't hear any shields for that last bit. seem to be okay. Have you put it on automatic? No, I for some reason hit the um, get out button. Hold on. Yeah, it's a firing automatically now. I can see they're targeting ready. Oh, the poor base. Oh, so much for scrapping it. Uh, let's swing around to the right. I know there's one or two more turrets on the inside on the right. So yeah, if we want to absolutely wreck some HE is the way to go. You can move in. Bring her down. there right bring her down
Go up there. Look set. One more shot, hold on. Can't see it. I don't know if I got it or not. No, I didn't. All right, target's down. I see a tur turret on the right. Swing us to the right. Keep the nose toward to the uh, the building, please. Hold there. I can't see where it is. There it is on the right. Hold. Target's down. Should be clear. Whoa, we're getting hit. Where's it at? Where's it at? Get us right out. Get us out. Get us out. Copy that. That's the only place that's becoming really exposed. We'll have to uh, we'll have to wait for the shield to recharge. Swing us around the left, and we'll head in through the back. Look clear. Still clear. I don't see anything. Bring us in closer and to the left. I think it's on the either the underside of the base or the end. There might be a turret at the end, I don't know, hold on. Let's see. Something shot us. I don't know. Um. Yeah, just keep circling left. If you can get us a little bit closer, that would help too. Oh, there it is. Hold. Target's down. Let's do one more swing around and see if there's anything else. Yeah, next time we're going to use AP and see if that helps with uh, less destruction. Keep going. Yeah, I'm just getting a little bit lagged. Hold. Okay. I'm still getting a targeting reticle. It was you. That's where the flight seems. Uh, I see it. Hold. Uh, swing around the left. Right there. Hold. It's for the vent. I'm gonna take it out. Any more targeting radicals? Not that I see. We might as well get out and have a look. Okay, I'm gonna turn this turret on. Oh yeah, we were definitely taking hits. Your cockpit, man. Yeah, they always automatically target the uh, cockpit, the uh, any artificial, you know, any NPCs. Well, this one in the uh, the left in the middle of the glass right there, that looked like that was aiming right for your head there, buddy. Oh, they were trying to get me. That's for sure. Good thing I brought plenty. Of ammo. 
I got some rubber banding. Yeah, me too. Looks clear. Oh my god, I love the sparks. Not bad, bit of a mess now though. We might as well uh, break it down, I reckon. Well, I mean, that was the, the plan was to capture it with the, um, and then uh, grind it down using the uh, blah, 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 APC. Because it has bobs, right? Yeah, it does. Hopefully, that'll still work to do that. I found a programmable block up here if you want to have a look. Uh, oh, that one's good. That's the one that has the uh, 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 scripting resource in it. Were there any vehicles in here, or it was just a door? No, I think it's just a garage. Yeah, look at that hill in the background. It looks really quite real, almost. What happened? Oh, just looking at the hill on the horizon over there. It looks really good. Yeah, the, I love what they do graphic-wise for this. I'll go get the tank and bring it over. Okay. I'm gonna keep on uh, grinding stuff, or welding stuff up.
Well, this is going to be exciting. Um, I've got both the ships attached. I've got uh, yours attached with the connector, and I've got the um, thrusters switched off so it doesn't interfere with the running. But let's hope everything works well. Oh my god, of course, as soon as I unlock the brakes, it unlocked the connector for your... Damn it. I think she's okay. Maybe a few scratches. She fell on the rubber of the wheels, so it shouldn't be too bad. I forgot, your ship doesn't have any vein. No, I, I couldn't hear anything from you. I think I was out of voice range. Have you got your broadcast on? I just brought your ship over. I um, I wasn't sure where you wanted to put the landing gear, so I thought there's plenty of resources here you can work with if you wanted to put some on. And I'll bring the tank and the other uh, Viper over. Well, this thing is a flying brick. I um added a new shortcut on the second bar uh, just to switch all the thrusts up on and off when I had it connected to the tank but it, they're all on time. Okay.
on my way. I'm getting a lot of lag out of front. I think it's because I'm coming in and out of your range. I know you probably can't hear me. I'm sorry, I probably can't hear you, but you can hear me. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant to say. It's like freezing for a little while and it continues on quite smooth. There seems to be a lot less trees, more of the little shrubs. Can you hear me? Yeah. It's a lot harder to steer with the um, uh, gyroscopes. Huh. Pretty sure all the guns are on here. I think they would have gone off already. Yeah. You can move up to the base. We can just start grinding it down. It doesn't have any power, so uh, I can't really see what's in the cargo systems. I just saw this enormous grinder thing go through. And I'm seeing all these weird bubbles. I crashed into the grid. Yeah, you can stop right there. Yeah, there's a hydro tank in front of you. You might want to stop. That's a nasty boom. Ooh, I like the new texture for the tire. I switched on all the grind enemy blocks uh, options, so yeah, I think it's starting. The paint, the paint menu. Look at the paint menu. Oh my god, it's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty good. They've actually put all the info in. We're rolling. We're moving. We're not supposed to be. That should hold the brakes. I thought they were long.
definitely hear stuff being done. Is that you or is it the mob? Do you think? I think that's Bob. Cool. It's set to do far box, so it won't be doing anything near um, here. So it'll probably start halfway in the middle, depending on what the range is. Oh, uh, but because we can don't own this, we can't paint it. Oh, that's a shame. I did um, take control of a couple of blocks. The reactor, you can paint the reactor. Maybe you can see if you can get it like perfectly pink. Uh, I think it's three one four one hundred one hundred. But uh, I can't get it. There's like 0.2 or 0.7 or something like that always in the way. That's not going to help. That might make things a little uh, Did you want to put some Impossible. landing gear on your bike? At the moment, I can't. I already land did. It. Sorry? Oh, you already did. Sorry, man. I did. I didn't even notice. I just needed it to, uh, well... I think it's waiting on a large steel tube. Oh, I think that was all the hydrogen es escaping, all the little bubbles in here. That's pretty cool. Do you want me to order some uh, large tubes from the assembler? Or wait till we scrap some? I think it has some. It just needed to be put weld before grind. Oh, okay, I can do that. I already did it. Oh, well, you're just way ahead of me today. Well, I can see the big flash from the grinding or the welding. Yeah, that's the grinding. I don't know what that is. Oh, they changed the particle system. That's what it was. They reworked the particle system, so they'll just have to change it on the welding. Looks fine. On it the, makes uh, the it mod. Obvious which one it's working. That and it looks like some type of solar flare. Lightning bolt. So should we move on to the supply caves and get rid of the last remnant of those evil space pirates in our territory? Yeah, sorry, um, 
I about dropped my uh, chip dip in my lap. That's no good. I was just asking if you wanted to go and take out the woman with the last uh, supply cache with me. Sure, I'll fly this time and you can shoot. Since you All have right, some sure. revenge to get. Unless you want to take the Vipers out and um, we can see if we might be able to hack or maybe shoot out the mo the uh, warhead before it detonates. I thought they'd just... Oh, I suppose if it's not armed. It may not arm until the sensor detects someone close. We could try that theory out. It may only detect hi uh, hacking. I mean, if the warhead's already armed, shooting it's just going to make it explode, but it's worth a shot. So I can't see the enemy. No matter which view I'm in, I can't see the enemy Try thing. O or broadcast sure. in On and off. I still can't uh, see it. Can you? The H. You've gone through all the H settings. What? When you press H, it changes the uh, signal settings to from full names to no names. I have I it set to full names. It's weird. Well, I can lead you to it if you keep an eye on me. Can you see my antenna? Yes. Very strange. Let me um, let me check my uh, my antenna and see if it's met. Yeah, no, it's it's maxed. I don't know. I'll just follow you. Okay, I'll probably cruise at a hundred. We're going about four uh, k's, a little bit less before we slow down. I love how I can actually tell how far it is to the ground. I see it. I see it. So, um, I increased my grass draw distance and my tree draw distance to max. And it solved the lag issue for me. It might help you if you did the yeah, same. I'll give it a try. Alright, so this is a little fella. Now the warhead's located um, underneath or behind the level that those ramps are in the center, I believe. You know, from the way the explosion occurred at the crater at that. No uh, obvious weapons on it. I wouldn't get too close unless you're looking to get exploded. Actually, no, I was able to walk right here. I have extra shields. I was able to walk right in. Oh, hello. We've got someone joining us. Hello, Venus. I didn't get a connect message, so... It's the uh, the initial message, so it may be a little off before she can actually hear me, or he or she can actually hear me.
So, um, what do you want to do? Just saying. We can try and destroy the sensors by hand. I'll just, uh, I might park back here though. So, uh, from what I can see, is I think that the warhead might be underground. If we, uh, were to dig out around that area, around it a little bit, and then, what do you think? Do you think that might help? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Venus has uh, been put into the space spiders involuntarily it looks like uh, so they um they finally managed to join did you tell them to uh, they had well, to I'm change Venus the thing? well I've seen Venus in the playlist I don't know if they're fully connected yet though. Uh oh. I had a, I heard like a click like a landmine. I stopped. Oh okay, it's the echo from the new update.
I lost my ship because I switched it off. <laughs> really dumb. I'm sure I'll find it, but uh, I'm just uh, casting about here at the moment looking for it.
Sorry everyone, just carrying on a little conversation with uh, Venus and Steam, uh, just helping again to connect. There we go. Hopefully I haven't scared uh, them off with all of the instructions. You know, you're going to have to join, spawn, and then join our faction, then kill yourself, and then respawn at our many. But hopefully, and I think they do know a little bit about the game because I was sort of playing earlier today, so hopefully it will all work out. They're just telling me they know all about it. So that's really good. So I've promised not to do anything too crazy for a little while just to help them uh, connect more easily, hopefully. I'm just flying back to base at the moment, uh, um, home base. Not too bad once everything loads in. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I've just been talking to them on Steam. Um, they're just taking, uh, yeah, they're having a lot of time. A lot of trouble loading in. Um, they're not getting any respawn points to start with. They're going to use.
use the invite now uh, to try and link, to try and connect it. So that may help. I'm hoping. Yeah, I explained all that and then they told me that they have uh, 720 hours in Space Engineers, so they're probably, and they've played Survival before, so, you know, they probably know what to do. I think Venus is here at the base. I'm just up on the roof. I'll jump down. Your health is critical. Okay, so you can't jump off the roof anymore. Well, I might end the recording here. Uh, oh, good one, Dar. I might end the recording here for today because uh, we're going to be uh, obviously working on helping Venus get into the game and join the faction and uh, you know show them around a little bit. So hopefully we'll have some uh, more interesting stuff tomorrow for everyone. See you soon.